It's crazy how well Blue Lock is doing in terms of performance, in terms of ratings. Now, I'm not sure about the score, but a lot of people are talking and watching it. It's kind of like this, right? Everyone loves to see a train wreck, a dumpster fire. Is it good content? Depends what you mean by good content. Is it entertaining to see a train wreck happen? Yes, and I think a lot of people, their eyes are on this show, even though the animation is so fucking mid. Now, last episode, I think was definitely getting better. And Nagi, if that moment didn't happen, I don't think a lot of people would be as happy. But that single moment, I think, did really just increase the hype. And a lot of people were like, oh, yes, E20 is saved. I'm not too sure. Nagi was pretty sick. Last episode was named Itohisai. But it was actually Nagi giving his name and having the coolest goal ever. Let's begin today's reaction. Super goal! Basically the main character. Why is Oliver looking happy? <laughs> I'll never forget this guy's fucking face last episode, bro. Even this frame, like, they're, like, he looks good. Like, like, the way that the anime, you know, hypes him up. He looks like he has aura. <laughs> Cringe! Oh yeah, the boys, bro. Also, they couldn't even fucking animate the jump, bro. They just had this scene and this scene. Not gonna take him back shots. It's a train. What the hell? Everyone's actually not that happy. Well, I think they're inspired, they're motivated, but they're like, ah, oh, shit, Naki got the first goal. He's looking really cool right now. They're more, like, upset. They're fired up. Bart Aura. Blue jeans. Blue jeans? I mean, it's blue lock. But in terms of jeans and biology guy, that's Shido. Is Shido gonna show up? In blue jeans. They're improving. I don't actually know how that goal happened. Now that I think about it. Do you guys remember? What changed? Itoshi Sai was like popping off. He was intentionally giving other people passes, more chances for them to score. And then we got possession. And then magic happened. Nagi just popped. We, we had one fast break, I think. I, I forget. Rin? Was it Rin? Okay. What happened? I forgot. Okay, Rin. That's right. We were improving, right? We had a triangle. Bachira, Isagi, and Rin. Look at Ego, man. He just looks so sick. How does he rock that haircut so coolly? Off to slay demons. Or ad libbing. True. Right? It's the whole line of like, everyone's got a plan until they get punched in the face. It's all about improv and adapting to, you know, what's happening right now. Go to plan B, plan C, plan D. Oh, the mindset of a loser. What does it say? The mediocre panic can look for excuses to see their failures to feel better. There's that one JJK manga frame that I see where I is it Toji? I don't know, but it was like something happens, but then he smiles and it says, but that's how losers think, right? I love that manga panel. Okay. Farmer? Was the manga panel that I saw wrong? Was it edited? That's how a farmer thing. What the fuck is a farmer? That's not Toji? Who was it? Maybe it's a spoiler character. All I remember is a guy that gets, you know, sent with an option and uh, like a school of thought and then someone that looked like Toji. It's okay, it's a spoiler. And then he, he was like, and then he started smiling. Then he was like, ah, oh. but that's how a loser would think. And I'm like, oh, that's fucking cold. The Yo, Anri. So. She kinda, she kinda real nice. Yep. Improv, baby. Survive. Wait, 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 wait. What the hell? Dude, he just, he just transformed. What the hell does body show up like that? Okay. 
その状況は新たな挑戦。に必要な思考 Yeah, ad living baby, improv. ブルーロックにシジマシボンジンはいらない。欲しいのは自分の挑戦。Is this the blue jeans? そしてイトシリンはに向かい、イサギヨイチはそれにこうした。Nice. シリンの覚醒にイサギヨイチは。Yo! I love how the main character is being used as a tool. For Rin, so he couldn't, but that's cool. Ego is acknowledging Yusagi, bro. That's that's really cool. All right, all strikers, baby. All right, it's puzzle time. We happen. Adrib. Ano kotoba de. Ore wa Rin to no play da ke ni shuju de kita. Yep. yep. I love how, like, Ego just spent the entire, like, intro just yapping, explaining what happens. And then Isagi immediately then yaps again, reiterating the exact same thing. Okay. Ooh. Nah, he wants to score. I didn't score. Yeah. Bro, you told us to fucking follow me. You're like, look at my back, follow me. And then you're gonna call me a fucking goldfish that got dragged into the fucking mud? Devour mentions. Domestic abuse. This is some kinky ship again, bro. This is, this is a toxic ass relationship, bro. Sure, bro. <laughs> Isagi looks funny here. Something about his chin. Yeah, you two are actually so important now. These useless commentators. <laughs> Who are you? Oh! My brother! Oh, I forgot. I didn't even see you, bro. But he's living rent free in his head. Now, who are you, bro? Uh oh. Sai has said nothing. Slide lock, baby. Slide lock. So cringe. <laughs> this is a sibling fight. My personal family problems matter more than everyone else's ambitions here. Leave me and my big bro alone. Yeah. Yeah, family issues, bro. Yo, the soundtrack's sick, though. Oh. oh, get off me. Like you're my little brother? Oh! <laughs> You lack hatred, Sasuke. You need to despise me more. You still think I'm your big bro? You want to surpass me? You need to despise me. So, like, he is actually doing some Itachi shit. He actually wants Rin to not see him as a big bro. To cut off the sibling ship so that Rin can surpass him and stop living in the shadows. This is so edgy and cringe. I love it. The soundtrack right now is fucking hype, though. The girl does not care. Yo, these commentators only fucking talk when Sai has the ball possession, man. Also, is there a reason why they're so important? What's with this? They keep showing these two. I forget who these two were. I think he was someone important that was working, you know, behind the scenes with the soccer leagues and shit. And he has like insider info, but like, why are they just constantly bringing these two up? Random people? He's gonna score. Nico boy! Nico boy! Damn, bro. Just gonna say it like that. 1v1? Just, just, I'm, I'm glad you put me in the match, but like, damn. Did you know you're, kinda, you're fucking short? You got nothing. You mid. No speed. No height. You know why you're on the field? Shit, I don't know. Tell me, boss. Okay. Yeah, his thing. 
Bro, how the fuck does he see through the <laughs> guy's hair? He's doing this. How the fuck are you seeing through the... I know the hair is, you know, kind of covering his eyes right now, but he's good. Look at that, look at that. His eyes. His eyes. Where did my subs go? Go, get the fuck back. Where the fuck did my subs go? Where the fuck did my subs go? Okay. The subs are gone, just like his eyes. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> okay. Nico. Nikki. Okay. Back off. Mm, that backspin right there. That, that's cool. That's cool. You see that? The ball drops, but then immediately goes back to Sai. Got him. ゲームオーバー。ゲームオーバー。ゲームオーバー。ゲームオーバー。ゲームオーバー。ゲームオーバー。ゲームオーバー。ゲームオーバー。ゲームオーバー。ゲームオーバー。ゲームオーバー。
Is that Sai? Yep. Got too cocky, bro. Rin Rin, nice, 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 nice. Improv. Adoribu. Damn, we're really shitting on Japan soccer with this one. Okay. Off the board. Oliver's reading well. Damn, bro, you're gonna kill us? Pass or what? Wait, wait. Rin, water aura. Hold up. He sees a path. Take it or no? Take it or no? Whoa. In that position where you probably shouldn't be kicking with your right foot, he kicks it with the spin, with the spin curving inwards, right? Nani? Yo, nasty spin. In. Goal. <laughs> nice. Blue jeans. Yo. Nice. Yo, that kick was sick. Let's see that again. Like, that was pretty sick. That was clean. Like, uh, the moment that, like, things went dark, right? The moment that Rin was, like, in the zone here. This shit was pretty sick. And then a clear path was shown, right? He saw it. Is this animation though? Kind of, yeah. Things are moving. I like that. Auto side of spin. Auto side of spin. Goal. CJ goalie. Yeah. Two one. Jeans. Blue jeans. Hey, we got a lead, actually. Yo, Rin carrying. True main character. <laughs> no, you're not gonna get that. Nah, he don't play like that. Plan B. Alright. We'll see about that. Now. U20, bro. They, they, these dudes are looking fraudulent. Like, since the beginning, ever since Shido pulled up with Sai in that, you know, whole uh, introduction ceremony, U20 kind of looked really weak, other than Oliver and, like, the defense. But right now, they're losing. Why? Early lead is usually not good. I don't think this is the downfall or the fraud of U20, but rather, like, they're going to do something like, oh, now we will try. Downloaded. We were just fucking around. I don't know. Based on the look of these defenders, I think they're trying hard, but Itoshi Sae, he just needs to crank out. Whoa, whoa. He just needs to crank up. That doesn't sound any better. He just needs to fucking crank it. Sure. And Shiro needs to come out. Yes. They need Shiro, bro. This ace striker, man. <laughs> Wait, what did he say? Hold up. Okay. Mr. Loverboy to a pinup model. Is he basically summarizing the downfall of his career with that title? Is just chilling. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That's a loser talk, bro. I might have lost the ball. You lost it, though. A true winner wouldn't have lost it, bro. You can't be blaming shit. No, 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 no. No, this is exactly what Ego was talking about. The loser's mindset. Blaming other people to make yourself feel comfortable and think that you did nothing wrong. That's right. This is exactly what Ego meant. He represents <laughs> the striker that Ego hates the most. Ooh. Yeah, bro, just score. Yep. Yeah, the striker should be all fucking replaced, bro. I want Oliver. I see how this is happening now. Because, like, the U20 only has defense. We only have strikers. We win. Oliver and crew can play defense for us and goalkeeper. The ace strikers that make it onto the, you know, mid-whatever. 
Yeah, striker. And then we go fight off against the rest of the world. That's how Blue Lock's gonna, you know, progress, right? You know, this guy is actually gonna get fired, bro. <laughs> That's right. Sai's chilling. This isn't even his team. He's just visiting. Damn. It just feels to me that Sai just isn't even trying. He just straight up disappointed. He could have scored whenever he wanted. He's providing other people chances to score. They can't keep up with him. They're just trash. He's disappointed as fuck. Where's Shido at? Put Shido in. Alright. Can this guy redeem himself? The Gravier model? Maybe Tai. Who knows? All these nicknames. Buzzy B? Okay. Only Nagi up. Something about utilize me there felt kind of good. Yeah. You utilize me. You utilize me. Okay. His entire speech pattern is duh. Da da da. Huh. Huh. Nice, Nico. Let's go, Gigamaru. Gigamaru. Okay. Whistle? One minute left. Oh shit, it's him. Oh no, oh no. He's gonna score. God damn, he's cheeked up there. Did you see that? Look at the Itoshi size spread. Or off. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What, what the fuck just happened? That animation was so wonky. He was chilling. Psych! And then he, w he went back. And then he went in the middle. He's like, huh? 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 Okay. Just score, bro. Just score, bro. That's the mindset. Yeah. He's not even thinking about this guy, bro. He's not even thinking about the Gravier model. He's still fucking saying, My shitty big bro. Mid. Mid. My big bro mid. No, no, no. It's not over. Oh, fuck me. Oh, no. He's gonna try now. Hey, he called this little bro, though. Hey, at least he's recognizing. I think he's about to have his own moment, though. Oh, shit. That volley. It's too much for him, bro. It's too much. Kram! 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 Yo, Mr. Glam actually clutched! Holy shit! Look at that fucking thigh, bro. Look at the vein there. Oh. Nice one. They get to do a cross though now, right? We're actually done. Half time done. You see that? The, the, the text is obscuring the vision right now. But do you see how Gigamaru and Mr. Glam has landed? They're scissoring each other right now. They're actually scissoring each other. You see that? You see that? <laughs> nice one. 2 1. We got the lead, man. Wait, who the fuck is this guy? Is this a U20 coach? I don't know. I can only imagine because he's probably going to lose his job and the ego's going to take over. Shido, what are you doing, Shido? When are you pulling up, bro? They need to put the wild card in. Wait, we got some additional time. We got some additional time. Hold up. We're not done yet. We're not done yet. And additional time. Okay. Not born. Five mil? God damn, he rich.
I feel like this is a reference to some Japanese, you know, reality TV show where they appraise items like this, and I have no understanding of the references because I'm a filthy gaijin. Okay. Temple mug can't be getting done this dirty in break time additional time. Frauds! Bunch of frauds! Who is it? Bachira! It's just a bunch of marbles, rocks, and some spare teeth. Where the fuck are you getting these teeth from? My baby teeth. You collected them all, huh? Okay. Boom. Good. I don't know. The acorns. I got no clue, bro. What the fuck did we just watch? Anyways, what an episode of Blue Log. And today's episode, uh, definitely the quality is getting worse compared to the episode before. Uh, two huge moments, I think, right? Itoshi Sai and Rin. Rin had a really cool moment where everything just kind of went dark. And Karasu, right? No, not Karasu. Oliver had him pinned down where he could only kick with his left foot. Or that's what he thought. Right foot kick using the outer spin. The side spin that creates this curve to score from that angle. That was actually really sick. That part was sick. But then it looked like Big Bro pretty much repeated the, f uh, the favor, right? He had a similar moment where, again, it, like everything goes dark and his eyes activate and boom. The kick happens, but he actually gets stopped by Gigamaru and Mr. Glam. So good to see, you know, everyone is getting their little moments of glory, right? Not everyone can obviously dominate the field, but every single person is getting a chance to shine, which is really cool to see. Now, the one person that I want to really shine, it's crazy that I'm, I'm, I'm cheering for U20 right now. It's, it's, <laughs> you know, it's bad when I'm actually cheering for the opposition because I don't really care who wins. At the end of the day, Blue Lock's probably going to win. But like, I want Shiro to do something. And he's been the wild card for U20 and U20 is kind of fraudulent right now. So I think Shiro's going to go in. Shiro and Sai will probably do something so crazy, right? Because right now we have their A striker who doesn't even believe in himself. The U20 striker is the exact type of loser mindset that Ego said, that's trash. Shiro's different. Shido also can he nobody is good enough to keep up with Shido and Blue Lock. That's why he even got discarded. So with Sai and Shido, you know, manning, you know, mid and front, I feel like they're gonna start getting the lead and then we gotta do something. I still expect Oliver too to have like a moment of realization that he too wants to be a striker. There seems to be some sort of flashback, uh, some sort of backstory that hints at due to his large stature. He had to play the defensive role and he could have never played the role that he wanted to. So I think that's going to come like later on in this arc. But pretty much it. Everything's looking good. Everything's popping off. And that's it for me. If you're still here though, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.